Hello, and welcome to AP and Honors at Cortez High School. This presentation will go through the AP and Honors process and the classes that your student may take. This will also initiate some conversations between you and your student about the classes and the workload that is associated with the AP and Honors program at Cortez. So what are AP classes in high school? That is a great question. It is the Advanced Placement Program for AP. Courses are college level courses offered in high school. AP courses reflect what is taught in top introductory courses that are offered in college. Honors is right there with it. It is a college level class that will also be able to help prepare your student for our AP classes that they will take in the future. The AP exams are tests that is over everything your student has learned in their last year. They can receive a score between one to five, but the score of three and above is considered passing. Four and fives are accepted for credit. Taking an AP course and passing are signs that your student is prepared for college and can put them at the top of the list for admissions. Here are the AP courses that are offered here at Cortez High School. They are AP AZ, which is Arizona World History, Language, Biology, US and Arizona History, Literature, Calculus AB and Calculus BC, as well as US AZ Government. We also have elective classes that are offered, which are AP Drawing, Computer Science Principles, Computer Science A, and Spanish. These are the classes that are offered under AP. Here are the benefits of taking these classes. You all can take some time right here to read, <clears throat> but we also have some information for you too. That more than 3,200 colleges and universities offer credit or advanced placement for qualifying AP exams. So that means if your student receives a four or five on an AP exam, they can get college credit. So this will include more than 90% of our four-year universities and colleges in the United States. AP and honors will, does go with the commitment. And so the reason why we have this presentation for you and your student is to let you know that there's a commitment that you have to set forth for yourself and the time to know that you can take a class and know that there's going to be a workload that is associated with that class. So once you sign up for a class, you are making a year long school commitment. So please choose carefully. Let's talk about that workload that I was just <clears throat> referring to. Although there are a lot of benefits, um, but the workload comes and there's a commitment of at least for each AP class that you have, I would say about 30 minutes to an hour each class. So you have to consider if you are um, working or you are in extracurricular activities after school, this is something to think about or even with your community, you have to think about what the workload will entail. Here are classes right here that are offered and then the homework expectations and then the assessments that are associated with each class and then additional information. If one of your classes is not on here and you plan to take an AP class, also you can reach out to your teacher or ask around with friends who may have taken that class already um, because they can give you an accurate depiction of what that class entails. So our honors classes in high school, they're taught at a faster pace and cover more material in a greater depth than our regular level classes. Taking an honors class means a faster pace in that class, more work and tests that are more challenging. So if you would like to take a challenging class, honors would be your way to go. Here are the honors classes that are offered. So we start at the freshman level for honors classes. So you have that English 1-2, which is a freshman English, English 3-4 is sophomore level. Then you have Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Honors Pre-Calculus, Honors Integrated Science, which is a freshman level class, Honors Biology, and Honors Chemistry. We also have an elective, which is our Honors Spanish. Commitment, once again, I cannot say enough that AP or an Honors class, 
you have to be committed to stay in that class the entire school year. So if you are interested, even after seeing this presentation, I would recommend that you go and see your counselor in the counseling office to pick up the AP and honors contract. On that contract, your parent must sign it. So if you're not watching this video with your parent, please have your parents sign your contract and we need your signature as well. Don't forget that most teachers will have to recommend you for that AP or honors class you are thinking of taking. Once again, thank you so much for spending this time with me. Whether if it's in the morning, midday, afternoon, or weekend, we do appreciate you watching this AP and honors video. Have a great day and remember, choose wisely.